Yeah. Yeah. All of those Muslims yeah. that donated yeah. for this yeah. man, yeah. he insults your prophet yeah. Jesus. Yeah. And you gullible fools yeah. pay yeah. for yeah. it. I beg God to send the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. So I said, so you're begging to become a Christian? Uh -huh. And he said, no. Well, I mean, so who does he think the Holy Spirit is? <laughs> Answer the question. I know you're a Muslim, sir. Yeah. So I'm not lying about your book, am I? Okay. Thank you very much. But so now we've, one what second. Saying, now what we've saying, established I'm not lying. Deal with my argument. No, but what you're saying. <laughs> so if the Father is equivalent to Allah, then Jesus is saying that Allah will not judge anyone. He will. So Let us ask ourselves some the of faith, the stupid things that Muslims say about the Christian faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, 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 because the these faith, are the kinds of things that you will hear yeah, in the poem okay. so said by Muslims Muhammad. about Christianity. Every week. Now I want to be clear, yeah. not all Muslims are this ignorant. What? Many Muslims are quite intelligent, even the most of them. But the Muslims you will meet in this part are ignorant. Yes, yes. Example number one. Muslims say Christians believe in three gods. How many Muslims have heard that being said? That Christians believe in three gods. But I would challenge to any Muslim, any Muslim, can you just... Show me Muslims where my no, book teaches no, no, me to believe no, no, in three gods. No, no, because no, I see exactly the opposite. What about the lie from your Muhammad? I see exactly the opposite. So, for example, in Isaiah 45, verse 18 and 19, it says, For thus says the Lord who created the heaven, He is the God who formed the earth and made it. No, no, he established it and did not create it a waste place, but I formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. So the Christian faith teaches a belief in one God. But Muslims in the park will tell you that Christians believe in three gods. Why? 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 Because because the Quran makes them ignorant. Exactly. They have to believe the Quran. And the Quran says, yes. say not three, yes. for Allah is one God. Yes! Yeah. 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 Allah is so one God! God. So he comes out with one God, yeah. with God. Not yeah. with three gods. Yeah. Allah <laughs> is wrong Only and it makes Muslims Allah ignorant for of the Christian faith. Yeah. Can you answer to and him? You Can you answer to him? He's got nothing. He's got nothing to answer. <laughs> so then they say to us, "Here's another okay. stupid thing." Okay, well, man, what about this? Is when he said, to "Bring my enemy and kill of them in the front of me." Okay, so let's go. Good word. Let's go with that word. You know what the problem? Yeah, yeah, the problem is, yeah, yeah, yeah. read your book yeah, more than oh. you. Kill, kill the enemy with oh. more. It is your son. That's why we oh, don't fight Jesus. Jesus. That's oh, why oh, we don't fight Jesus. We are killing you. We are killing you. And notice the manners. Don't give me a sign. Notice the manners in the question. And doesn't want to hear the answer. Jesus is saying. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord! Who is the pagan? Allah Jesus. was a pagan! There you go again! Jesus. He insults Jesus! 
Believe me, I'm not allowed to say. You're not to say. Come on. You have to. You have to. All of those Muslims that donated for this man, he insults your prophet Jesus. And you gullible fools pay for him. When you bring anything, you have to prove it to the people. Oh, we have to prove it to the people. Is this smart? Come on, man. Don't speak We have proof. Let these guys talk to one another. We have proof that Muhammad has. So, other things that Muslims say about the Christian faith that he's ignorant. I am. Yes. Other things that are ignorant. I am. He had a son. I am. Brother, I want to pray. I am. I am. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Allah. I pray that you be healed. I pray you will have blessing upon your life. You will have blessing upon the life of your family and those that you love. You crazy? I pray. You crazy? I pray that you find shelter. You crazy? I pray that you find hope. Go ya bugah. I pray that you find peace. Go ya bulah. Peace that you need in your heart. You will have donkey. Shut up. Liar, you donkey. Oh, this is what no. you are no. This is so, what other no. ignorant things that Muslims no. say about Christianity. No. No. Muslims say no. this is the fruit that we of confuse no. the father no. with the son yeah, yeah, yeah. when they say, How can the son be God? And God. how can he also be the son of God? This right. This That's right. the kind of ignorant thing yes. that Muslims say to one another. However, Christians don't believe any such thing. We believe that the Father and the Son have been eternally divine from ages past. Yes. to ages future exactly. with no beginning and no end when we say that Christ is the Son of God it is shorthand for saying that Christ is the Son of the Father and to those who are uninitiated they confuse these two things when we say that Christ is God and when we say that Christ is the Son of God we are saying two nuanced statements that are different of course one we are saying Christ is divine that's right and the other we are saying Christ is divine in relation to the Father why? And why? then why? Muslims say, yes, why? but where is this equality? Where yes. does Jesus say, I am God, worship me? Yes. Well, I'll tell you where. And if you're the kind of Muslim who said, show me this and I'll become a Christian, then it's time for you to come to the park so I can baptize you here in the park. Listen, Jesus said, not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all honor the Son even as they honor the Father. The Father is God. How do you honor God? You honor God by giving Him your life, your soul, your energy, your resources. You give and spend your life in jihad for Him, as you would say in Islam. Jesus says, Honor the Son as you honor the Father. If you honor the Father as God, how then should you honor the Son? Except as God. So Jesus introduces Trinitarian language, Father and Son. And then he says, honor the Son as you honor the Father. If you honor the Father as God, you honor the Son as God. You would not honor God as you honor a prophet. That can't be what Jesus is saying. He's saying honor the Father as you honor the Son as you honor the Father. 
if you give your life and wealth and energy and time and resources to God. Jesus is saying, do that to him. Yes. Do that to him as the son of the father. He's saying that the father has given judgment to him. Yes. That the father will not judge anyone. So if the father is equivalent to Allah, then Jesus is saying that Allah will not judge anyone, he will. And who is judged but God? And Jesus is saying, if you honour the father, honour the son in the same way. Yes. Who's greater out of God and Jesus? Who's greater? Good. Good question. Who's greater? In terms of who is greater. In terms of who is greater. What does it need a term? In terms of who is greater. The Christian faith teaches that Christ did not last at equality with God. In other words, he had equality with God. And you can find the statement in Philippians chapter 2 in the common Christie. Notice, they don't want to let me answer the question. Not be rude to him. No, he wasn't created. No. Christ did not grasp at equality with the Father. But when he became a man, he took on the form of a servant. And so we find in scripture passages that Christ prays to the Father. But Christ says, all things I do as the Father does, and I do nothing of myself, but as I see the Father do. We see Christ relating to the Father. Don't be violent. Liar. So, to find off the answer, Christ had equality with the Father. I am not happy. But then when he becomes a man, when he becomes a man, he takes on the form of a son. Come on, brother, you wanted to ask Liar. him Where is the Holy Trinity? Liar. So he asks, what is the Holy Trinity? Liar. So this allows me to talk about Liar. two Liar. of the stupid Liar. things Liar. that Muslim Dawah team in the park talk about. Let's just be clear about what the Trinity is not. The Trinity is not a belief in three gods. Anyone who tells you it is, is lying to you or ignorant. This is a pagan god. The father of Muhammad, the father of Muhammad, in the time of ignorance, I'll come back to you. In the time of ignorance, was called Abdullah, which means slave of Allah, which means that Allah was a pagan god. Pagan god, a pagan god. He was a pagan god because Muhammad's father was called. Abdullah, Abdullah. Yeah. before Layla. Muhammad became a prophet. Yes. So he is chanting Layla. to a pagan god. So that so in answer Layla. to this brother's Layla. question, Layla. once again, because of the rudeness Allah. of the Muslim, I will take a side step Allah. to the left. So, so in answer to this brother's question. Huh? Don't be aggressive. Le, 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 I'm sorry that le, you le, have le, to witness le, this. Le, but unfortunately, le, le. this particular Muslim le, 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 team le, behaves like this le, every le, week. Le, and he does this le, because le, his religion le, le, has not taught him any good manners. Who's the pagan? Jesus, yeah, don't uh, Jesus. So, the pagan, yes. once Jesus, again, yeah, I apologize. But I'll take a step to the left. 
Hopefully at some point the brother might get the message. No one is interested in your pagan God. So, let's hear Brother Bob. No Jesus, yeah, don't So, ladies and gentlemen, what is the Trinity? You're being rude to this brother. You're being rude to your own. I'm guessing you're a Muslim. You're being rude to another Muslim. So, what is the Trinity? Let's be clear about what the Trinity is. It isn't a belief in three gods. It isn't a belief that the Father is the Son. Or that the Son is the Father. Or that either of these two are the Holy Spirit. Allah Christians believe in oh. one God pagan, yeah? who Jesus has existed yeah, yeah. eternally yeah. as Father, Jesus Son yeah. and Holy Spirit. Amen. And we worship the Father, Son and Holy Spirit Liar. as one Liar. God. Liar. That is our belief. Liar. I have another question. Yeah, of course you can. How can you talk about the Holy Spirit and just talk about Jesus and God only? Muslim. No! The Muslim says, how come... You should be more power as powerful, right? He Muslim says, oh, how come you never talk about the Holy Spirit? Why do you only talk about the Father and Jesus? I would suggest to him, I would suggest to him that he needs to hang out with more Christians. Yes. yes. And he needs to actually visit a church. The Holy Spirit. Because yeah. we as Christians yeah. talk about the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit all of the time. Don't project your ignorance onto us. I've begged many times. Though. How come he hasn't sent the Holy Spirit to me? Sorry? He hasn't sent the Holy Spirit to me. I've begged God many times. For many years. So you're begging to become a Christian? No, I'm begging. Oh, he's not I'm begging, begging, I'm begging to become a Christian. I'm begging to find the truth. I'm begging to find the truth. According to a Muslim who is the Holy Spirit? No, no, no. I'm being neutral. Yeah, but when you cry out to God, because you're saying, hold on. Just think about what you're saying because you're trying to play semantics and you think I can't catch you. You're wrong. What you're saying is, I beg God to send the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. So I said, so you're begging to become a Christian? Uh -huh. And he said, no. What I meant was, so who does he think the Holy Spirit is? <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> who do you think the Holy Spirit is? This, this, this is what I meant. This one, I meant to ask God for guidance find the truth so you didn't ask God to send the Holy Spirit but well, he should naturally isn't it? no 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 the right way, it? you say so you didn't so what you lied earlier no, no, no. when you said if I'm God send God, the Holy Spirit I'm ask God for guidance who should send the Holy okay Holy Spirit, right? I'm not gonna get caught up into a silly no. argument you I didn't say what argument. you claim to say logical. I think that's, that's obvious to anyone well, it isn't logical at all it the isn't logical the implication is that just because you say you wish that to happen then why does the church no, no, in pure, in pure, brother, pure Christian logic that's not that's true more Islamic, what you're brother no brother in the Christian faith sincerity of heart mm. is important exactly. in fact sincerity of heart is fundamentally important exactly. in all of our actions in all of our beliefs, in all that we do. Mm. Sincerity of heart is fundamentally important. And you did not sincerely... And I don't believe... I don't believe... I don't believe... I don't believe... I, I, I agree with him. I don't believe that you're sincere in that claim. Because you just claimed to me that you said, I asked God to send the Holy Spirit. Mm. And then when we examined that, no, no, no. we found that that was not I, what I, you I said. Yeah, yeah. So you were insincere yeah. about your words. No, no, I wasn't lying yeah. here. Yeah. I was insincere. No, no, I was mistaken. What I meant to say is, I asked God for guidance. So whatever religion is the truth, I asked that to God. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So I didn't say God sent the Holy Spirit. I don't know what the Holy Spirit was. So why would I ask that? So, brother, for those that are sincere, God will speak. God will speak yeah, for those I, that I are think, sincere. I think that Christianity yeah. has got a lot of goodness in it. Let me ask you this question. Has Allah spoke to you? Um, what has God said to me? Yes. Yes. Well, I believe uh, oh, God has Caroline. guided me Caroline. as Islam. Nice to meet you, Caroline. I believe Islam is the truth through God. He believes Islam is the truth through God. In other words, when he said, I asked God to show me the truth, what he really meant is, God, I already believe Islam is the truth. Show me that it's true. No, no, no. I, I can tell you honestly. So not, Islam the truth or not? Stuff. That wasn't my stuff. Is Islam the truth or not? For me, it is. It. Right. So is, is, in terms of what it, Allah says about the Christian faith, do you think it's accurate? Um, well, I'm not too sure. I'm not well versed in the Quran myself. 
But I can say some verses, like God says, at the end of the day, God says, I will judge the hearts, whether he's a Christian, Muslim, or a Jew, or a Hindu, or a whatever, he will judge the hearts. That's what he says in the Quran. So to me, that sounds very. Um, what he also says settling, in the Quran, settling. what he also says in the Quran, is if this were from any other than Allah, and when he says this, he's not talking to you, he's talking to me. And let me finish. In what he also says in the Quran, and he says this to Christians and Jews, he doesn't say it to Muslims. He says, if this were from any other than Allah, you would find many errors therein. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, yeah. So I've read a translation of the Quran. In fact, I've read multiple translations of the Quran. And the Quran accuses Christians of believing in three gods. Did anyone here hear me preach three my figures. faith three in figures. three gods? Three figures. It doesn't say three figures. No, that's what it means. No, it doesn't. Because God doesn't need to explain. He doesn't speak no, it doesn't. God doesn't speak what it says is saying, no, it says to Christians, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Let's be, no, it doesn't. What it actually says, what it, no. Brother, I'm going to educate you because you've already admitted you're not very knowledgeable in the Quran. No, sometimes. No, I am going to educate you because Allah is speaking to the Alim Al Kitab. He's talking to Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians, if you could show for a second, I'll educate you. Allah was speaking to Jews and Christians. Jews and Christians in the 7th century believed in one God in three persons. Allah says, say not three, for Allah is one God. In other words, he is contrasting the divinity of the one of monotheism to the supposed polytheism of Christians. And early Muslim polemicists who were far closer to Muhammad in time and space argued against Christians as if we believed in three gods. Why? Because they understood the Quran to be saying that. The Quran was wrong. It is in error. It wasn't from God. It's not from a prophet. When God talks about three gods, when Islam talks about three gods, he, he, Islam already knows that you know God is greater than the other two. But you, God is saying, don't associate with God. God's alone. Did you just say, did you just try to imply I believe in three gods? No. I'm saying Islam's telling you, don't associate the other two with him. Don't, don't. Everyone knows, even Muslims. Which other two? Jesus and the Holy Spirit. No, that's not what the Quran says. That's that is not what that's the Quran what, says, what nor to does it translate that to. No, I'll use the Quran because the Quran says, no, the Quran says, it tells a narration at the end of time. Allah speaks to Jesus and he says, did I say to you, Jesus, to take, to tell the people to take yourself and your mother as gods beside Allah? Mm. That is the Trinity. That is the three that the Quran thinks that Christians believe in. The Quran got it wrong. The Quran never associates the Holy Spirit as part of the three of the Trinity that it is condemning. It gets the Trinity wrong. It thinks that the Trinity is Allah, Mary his consort and Jesus their son. That is the three that it's saying don't associate with Allah. And it is wrong because Christians don't make that association. Our scriptures don't make that association. Our councils don't make that association. Our faith doesn't teach that association. Allah is wrong. The Quran is in error. And according to Allah, if it was from any other than Allah, it would be in error. Because it's in error according to the Quran, it's not from Allah. Learn your Quran. Right, so the Quran gets it wrong. Is it from God according to the Quran? The Quran says that the three that are associated with Allah are Allah, Mary and Jesus. That's what the Quran says. That is a passage in the Quran. The Quran condemns that association. It condemns that association. Loads of people bring out that one. Bring out the passage.
Why is the reference? You pull it up. No, you pull it up. It's your own. Are you afraid? Are you making up stuff? My associate. My associate. Bring it up. Question to you. Your body's working for Rodney Cleary. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, he's not bringing it up. Did I tell you to read the evidence? I can tell the people to associate me and your mother as God's beside Allah. That could be a warning. If it's God is telling you, to who? To who is that warning aim? To mankind. Except that who is he talking to when he condemns these three? He's talking to the Alim al Kitab. You know what? You know what's interesting? Is you don't want to deal with what the Quran says. You want to change what you take out, say. Take out the Quran, take out the verse. That's why, but that's why there's so many sections in Islam. You've got your interpretation, and you've got your uh, uh, scholar, like, commentary. Like, a scholar is the guy who knows the Quran by heart and he knows the history. And you've got the, the, the commentators. Uh, he's saying from the Quran. The, uh, yeah? The half is he's saying from the Quran. Do you know, uh, uh, you uh, as a Muslim you should so know that the Quran. Yeah, I did, brother. Hold on one second. God says in the Quran. What does he say? Many Don't you have sense? 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 Which no, that's the, not what we believe. The Holy, the Holy Spirit. We don't believe that. We the Son and the, the yeah, Father. Yeah, we, we, you got that totally right? wrong. We don't believe in three parts of God. Okay, well, then what is it? Right. What is so, the th Holy Trinity? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What, isn't the right. Holy Trinity? But I thought your book accurately described my beliefs. Okay, I, I am at the moment. I don't have the book with me, but I'm of course you do. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> you. I'm asking you. You, have, you believe in a Holy Trinity, right? So right. There are three before parts. Before we get to that, within God. Hold on. Correct? Before we get to that, before we get to that, remember that our topic of conversation is the full-blown stupid mistake in the Quran. That's what we're talking about. Whoa. Now you're saying, Whoa. you're saying that the Quran doesn't make mistakes. So I want you to use your Quran to describe my beliefs to me because your Quran attempts to describe my beliefs to me. So what does your Quran say about my beliefs? For, for me to use my religion, your
because your religion changes over time, whereas no, no, no. mine doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, 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 that, no, no, no. Don't let him change yeah, the topic. You have it. He's you running away. I'm not He's running away. away. I'm here. You are, you are running away because you're changing the topic. I'm not changing the topic. You're changing the topic. I'm telling you, it's you're, you're making. You're, you're trying to distract. My, my religion is for no. is to guide people. No, you're, you're trying to, to give distract. Let me let me so let me let me address this point. Let me address this point because firstly, 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 he's thrown up a red herring. What we're talking about the is the herring? silly mistake in the Quran. And now he wants but to talk about the history of religion. Oh, about the history that's of what religion. he wants to do. But, that's but, it. but, that's but, but, it. but, I'll do both. I will do, I will do both. I, 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 I will do both. I will do both. I will do both. So he said, so he said that Islam never changes. Well, that's a lie. It is a complete lie. Because at the time of Muhammad, there wasn't a book called the Quran. Everything. It wasn't years. compiled into a book. That came later. And there weren't collections of hadith. They came later. And there weren't, there wasn't a, 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 a system of schools of law. That came later. And all of these developments are not justified in the Quran. He can't justify to me the use of hadiths in the Quran because there is no justification for them at all. His religion changed over time. However, 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 let's get back to the topic, the actual topic. The actual topic was the Quran. The actual topic. No, you were the one that brought it up, not me. You were the one that brought it up. No, I'm going to finish my point. I'm going, I'm, going I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to finish my point. I'm going to finish my point. So let's be clear. You were the one that brought up the red herring, not me. I've addressed it. Now I'm going to come back to the topic. Because the topic is your so-called perfect book, which is actually full of basic errors in its description of my belief, does attempt to describe my belief and if it is perfect it should do so accurately so use your book to describe my belief let's see if the quran from allah is actually right or not okay this is a fair yeah. test okay. Okay. is it a fair okay. test okay okay if I it's perfect so. it won't be wrong okay. yeah. if it's imperfect yeah. it will be it's a fair test so, that no, no. you're not bringing up any evidence of the verse that you started this no. argument with. Exactly. So I would like you to bring it up, just no, for a exactly. second. So, is there any Muslim here yeah. that yeah. is honestly denying that yeah. the Quran addresses Christians and says, Say not three, for Allah is one God. Am yeah. I lying or is that in the Quran? And does it, does no, I'm lying. No, I'm lying. Am I right? Yeah. It does say that. I know you're a Muslim, sir. Yeah. So I'm not lying about your book, am I? Okay. Thank you very much. But so but now we've, one second. Saying, now we've saying, established I'm not lying. Deal with my argument. But what you're saying, you're, what you're saying they were, they were in the Quran it says that the Christians associated Allah, Jesus and the Virgin Mary as with God. When we look, does it say that? That's what the Quran says. Yes. Does it not? Does it not say? But what you just said to him. Yeah. What you just asked is totally So let, let me address that point. It, it, you said. Let, let me address, address that point. Okay. Address that. So point. we've established that the Quran does say, "Say not three, for Allah is one God." Okay. In other words, it is contrasting the belief in one God with a belief in three gods. That is an error. Christians don't believe that. That is why the Quran is an error. But then, how do we understand this what, this three? Who is it referring to? Well, we have to look at what else the Quran says in other passages. And in other passages, still addressing the Alim al-Kitab, it gives a narration where, 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 right, right, it still addresses the Alim al-Kitab and it says to Jesus, Allah says to Jesus, did I tell you to take, that you should teach the people to take yourself and your mother as gods beside Allah? And then Jesus says, Stad Allah, no, I didn't. Be it unto you, you alone are God. Or words to those effects. 
that is in the Quran. So that is what the Quran understands to be the three. The whole thing, brother, is a Muslim. So it's in error because Christians don't believe that. It's not the only understanding as well. He also says in a No offense, brother, but he seems to know your Quran better than you do. So maybe he should be a defending your Quran. No, no, I know that. But you don't have a side, step aside. Maybe we should a question. Drink less coffee, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, right, let's let's do The brother asks me, what is the deal with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit? So I'll deal with that very quickly. Christians believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Now please note, please note, we say Father, Son and Holy Spirit, not Father, Son and Mary as the Quran does. So the Quran, Quran gets the Trinity wrong. And what we say about the Trinity is that they are one God. We don't say they are three as the Quran contrasts them. So the Quran is wrong on that point as well. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. When you talk about the, the Holy Trinity, you are by necessity talking about three different things. And then you say that it's part of exactly. one thing. Hold on, well, hold on, completely hold on. No, 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 you no, let's be clear. No. Once again, you assert your Islamic presumptions onto my belief. You've just said, by necessity, these three are different. By necessity, no, that's no, utter no. rubbish. No, 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 that's no, no, a philosophical no, no, no. fallacy. No. And also, incidentally, not, it's a straw man because we don't make that claim. If they were the same, then you would label them all the same. But exactly. they're different, and that's why you label exactly. them Brother, that's right. brother that's let me ask you this question. Yeah, that's right. Let me ask so you this question. So, so you're saying you're, you're saying plurality and unity can't exist? No, 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 Is that no, what you're no, saying? No, no, that's not necessarily no, true. No, are, are you saying that plurality and unity can't yes, exist? Yes, yes, yes. No, there can be plural. No, no, uh -huh. no. But there can be diversity and unity. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, right. no, no. I'll no, prove this no, to you. No, you believe You believe in how many Qurans? Is the Wash Quran a Quran? Why? The Wash Quran. No, no, no. Is the Hafs Quran a Quran? Is the Duri Quran a Quran? No, no, no. These are all Qurans. Muslims consider them to be one. But if you actually look at them, they're different. They're three different texts. But you call them one Quran. So are they one Quran or three Qurans? You tell me. No, they're not the same word. But which one? Hafs, Wash or Duri? Because Muhammad never saw any of them. Use anyone! Use anyone! The Hafs Quran is dated to the 10th century. That's three centuries after Muhammad. Muhammad never saw a Hafs Quran. That problem happens because of Arabic. By who? By who? By the by the uh, who was that? Not Muhammad, was it? No, 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 no. no, no. And what did he do with all the other Qurans? Burn. He burned them. No, 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 no. Why burn them if they're all the same? Man. Yeah. Man. yeah. He burned a group of the Quran because he knew, according to the text, according to the history, yes. there was a problem yes. with it. There was a problem, yes. thank you. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Something yes. Christians have been telling Muslims in the past for years. However, these are, these are You've just admitted it. No, yes. these have been there were Qurans with problems in them at yes. the time of no, no, Uthman. No, 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 no. And Uthman chose your Quran for you, no, no. not Muhammad. No. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. That's what you just say. That is what you just say. Even half of the Quran God has you done. Validated by the Khalifas, including Al Bayt, which is the family of the Prophet. Exactly. With the Prophet. They confirmed it. And are you a Sunni or a Shia? I'm Shia. Do you agree no, no, with what Uthman did? Yeah. Just Muslim, not what Uthman did? Yes. Uh -huh. I honestly believe that, uh, that the situation is much more deep and complex for me to come to that part. I am asking right you now. simply okay. if you agree with what Uthman how, did. How do you want me to, to agree or disagree if I don't know all of the variables? Do you think that Why he was right to destroy the Quran course, that disagreed with course. the one that he then yes, went on to publish? Of course. There is a mistake with the Quran that was published at that time. So after the correct ones who were published before, after the correct ones were published in the first place, then I think that he but should... But I thought Allah was going him. to preserve the Quran. It has been preserved. By it's Uthman, human. not by Allah. No, 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 not necessarily. By the great because all of the Khalifas were able to preserve the Quran. Which, which, so you agree with what Uthman did then?
You mean like the ones that were reproduced in 1924 that led to the recommission of the Haskaran? You mean like those kind of errors? Do you know why the 1924 version of the Quran was published? I bet you don't, do you? No, the, the Quran, ever since... Which Quran? The Hafs, the Wash or the Duri Quran? The Quran that was, what, that was written 50 years after the Prophet died. Because... He's not looking like, like your Quran, bro. Look, because you are making this division between all of the Qurans because you're... Well, I'm just trying to figure out no. which Quran you're talking about. Because the Hafs, the Wash or the Duri? The women. One. No, there's one not. Okay, show me them. Them. Right. Right. Show me them. You can go away. Uh, all yeah, of the Muta. Muslims here. Muta. Muta. The Muslim, no, there are like three different types of Qurans. Hafs, Wash and Duri. Have you heard of them? There are different versions, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very yeah. much. They're all, yeah. the they're all different versions. They're all the, 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 not my words. One has a mutta the and then the Muslim. Do they have different words? Different vowels and not my words. But the, the words of a Muslim. Do they have different words? No. no yes, different they words. Words. Yes, yes, they do. Yeah. Like I said. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. I'll give you. Word against I'll give you. No. No. It is not my word against this because I'm about to give you scholarship. I'm about to give you scholarship. I am going to give you scholarship. I am going to give you scholarship. No, I'm going to give you scholarship. Yes, there is a I am muta. going muta brother, in the Quran. Brother, 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 one second. Muta, muta. Muta. Brother, muta. 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 One second. Let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Let's like stay on topic. Like Let's stay on topic. Like the brother, I bet you do. Uh, the brother said, the brother said, the brother said, the brother said are you listening? Yeah, the brother said that all the Qurans have the same words. That's what he said. Yeah. And then he said, it's my word against his. No, it's not. I'm going to give you a book that you can buy today in Waterstones. Okay. On your bike, go and get the book. It's by a, guy, a gentleman called Dr. Keith E. Small. It's called Textual. Oh, oh, it's Islam. not believable because okay. it's a Westerner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the reason why we can't Ma believe it. One second, I haven't, you, I haven't given you the title yet. I haven't given you the title yet. Go ahead. The title is right. Textual Variants of Quranic Manuscripts. You can buy this book today and read it for yourself. What Keith E. Small does is he takes the 1924 version of the Quran produced in Saudi Arabia, not Saudi Arabia, in Egypt in 1924 and mass published by Saudi Arabia today and he compares it to the pamphlets that were found in Sana, Yemen and he compares these early fragments of the Quran to the 1924 version of the Quran used by most Muslims today and he notes the differences and those differences are differences in letters and words that have impact on the localized meaning of the sentence. Look, Name me one difference. Name me one difference. I yeah, don't have it on me. Uh, you can't say oh. something. And Let then me you give you. Back it up I've seven. given you the reference you, 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 to go and seven check seven it yourself. Listen, seven. Seven. I haven't just put it out yeah. there. Yeah. 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 I have given yeah. you the difference. reference, the scholar yeah. in the book. Go and buy it and read it for yourself. The moment you were saying, you say before before it snowed, you said that there's snow, but you're not showing me the snow, right? So what you have to do is you Brother, have to actually show I'm not show interested me. in your excuses. It's no excuse. I've given I'm you the you reference, the doctor and the book and you can buy it today. Okay, cool. You don't even know then it. why right. didn't you bring it with I've you? I've just this quoted it to you, your argument. No, the one he just said. Though. Was the it? You said that you why didn't, didn't you bring it with what? you? What? That you because okay. when I came today, I came to talk about a different topic, not this one. Okay, huh? Shami Quran, Maki Quran, like Araki Quran. Have you got them? They all have a different, uh, different. Uh, uh, what is this? This is your, so, your notes. <laughs> yeah, these are your notes. <laughs> yeah, these are your notes. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, notes aren't believable. <laughs> They're not all lies. Yeah. Brother, yeah. Yeah. brother, so, so brother. We want facts. You, I think it was you. I hope it, the guy's not walked away. I think it's you. You've already said that there are different Dory half some wash. So we're not making this up, are we? Thank you. Yeah. So. He is a Muslim and he says that I'm not making it up. What? Did you get that? What did you say? Did you pay attention? Huh? So what's, what's there are different versions. Okay. Are you listening? No, no. And these well, are the different versions. Kufi, Busari, Shami, Makai. I think the Iraqi, they, you probably need yeah, to check that. Yeah, yeah, Iraqi, Iraqi. Do we have a different, uh, different uh, no. version? Uh, I know they have different. Yeah. It's not different number of verses. verses. They don't have different verses. Yeah. yeah. Number of verses. How are they known? Oh. They don't have different verses. Oh. Yeah. Man. As a language developer, so you're so lying to your hadith even. You're lying to your hadith even. He says they have different dots. Yeah. 
Now, I'm not an expert on Arabic, but at one time, I did try and study Arabic. It's not different dots. The something. noon, the noon, the, the, the letter that looks like it's a boat. If I put two dots above that that's letter a, a and two dots below the letter, does it change the letter? Yes, but yes. Not, yes, yes. Yeah. So would yeah. that not change not, the word? It's it's not the the would it yeah, change the word? Yeah. It's not like the dots have been changed, but other so in some books. The so dots they have different are dots, but they're not changed. No, no, no. Right, that the makes dots, sense. The dots are there in yeah. some books, and the other books they are not there because in the beginning Arabic didn't even have dots. They I know. Then they so the, the text dots. has changed, then hasn't it? It hasn't changed. Oh, it hasn't changed. changed. No, then that. They're so they inserted letters in a book that didn't have those letters, the letters and you're saying the text didn't change. Even. The, the, did not change. the language brother, changed. Different different brother, if I take a text if you're telling and then I insert letters into that text that were not there before, I changed the text. That's just logical. You yeah. did not, they did not change the, the text. No, no, no. They what what about the vowels then? So they, they put letters change. into a text. They didn't put letters no. in so they didn't put letters they into a text. It for to read. No, no, no. So, so one, one, one I'm confused, really. Help me, help me. Because really. yeah. 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 you're really confusing me now. Okay, go ahead. You're confusing me. Because you're trying to say that they put letters into a text but then say they didn't change the text. So did they put letters into it, yes or no? Listen, they didn't put letters into it, but they refined the letters so that people can read them. So those letters always existed then? The, the letters and the meanings and the sounds behind them did not change. Ha, the one but second. rather one it just second. made it easier for them one to second. read. One second. No, this is not true. This is because true. You're, you're, you're making a logical fallacy. You're saying that oh, you can wow, insert no, letters no. into a text without changing the text. Yeah, that's Anyone changed. with a when brain understands that that is a change. Wait, the letters have not changed. They've made it easier for them. So you're saying those letters existed before? Those letters were there the whole time. If they were there with the whole time, why did they need to add them? But for example... I see. Brother, you need to think again. What do you think makes it easier, my friend? It's Brother, still a have you got a gospel? You're saying that they did yep. to make I'm it stronger in your religion. No, I'm not asking you. You're strong in your religion. I'm asking if you've read a gospel. Before? It was difficult for foreigners to read the noon, yeah. right? Yeah. Because there wasn't that dot on top. There wasn't they, the dot. Yeah, so they, you now you're not, saying, make your mind up. Was the letter there or not? <laughs> the letter was there, but they put the dot for it for people to so read it. So in other words, they added a letter then. They didn't add a letter. Make your mind up, bro. They added a sign for people to recognize the letter. Mate, what letter? You've just said I can't make my mind up whether you're saying the letter was there or it wasn't there. Okay, okay, okay. Did they add the dot? Yes or no? Listen, they added the dot. They added the dot. So they added a letter. No, no. Added a letter to no. the text. It's been changed, no. bro. It means your Muslim brother. Yeah. So the letter yeah. was added. No. Listen. Do you know what a textual variant is? Listen, listen. Let Do me, you know what a textual variant is? Let, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. Explain to me what a textual variant is. Let me explain to you. Okay. Okay. Now you have a noon, for yes. example, with the dot. Yes. You take the dot away, yes. which is the way that it was written a long time ago. That's how the Arabic language is. But now. Because they want people to actually understand that this is a noon, they put the dot so they can differentiate. How is that not an addition, bro? It's not a letter addition. How can you say, on but one hand, they're adding letters to the text and then say in the, the moment, next breath they're not adding letters uh, to the, at the text? Moment, Make your mind you're up. You're trying to say at they the added moment, something, but you're, you're confused, changed. mate. I'm not confused. You are confused. Is this Shall I help you? No, is this how you want Shall to, I help is you? Is this how you want to convert me to your religion? No, by, no, I'm really by not. By putting doubt really not. Into, into my mind? Well, I'm that shows that you're not really I, I, well, you're, 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 of your brother, religion. This you is you don't speak for my religion. This is what Quran says. If you have doubt, come to us. You don't speak for my religion. I'm doing is I'm trying to tell you. Shall I help you? To make your argument better. What has been added is not a letter, but rather a sign for you to lead. So, read the so, so what, shall I help you? Because I'll, I'll help you make your argument And then better. you guys continue and say you added the letter. Well, that's what you're saying. But you're saying it, that's, that's what, what you're, you're saying, saying took place. No, no what you're saying no, took that's, place that's the, the words that you oh, put into my mouth. Mind. No, my friend. That's what, what you're saying. No, that's what the words that you put into my mouth. No, no, you said that and everyone heard you. But let's no, try and move the I argument said, forward. Let's try and move the argument forward, right? So, we've we've got to this point in history where muslims are adding letters to the text of the quran okay okay now, now you don't understand what i'm trying to say no no I'm no no going, no i'm, I'm going not going to go through it again because you can't make your mind up I'm whether going, they're being I'm going added to leave or not since you're putting no no, 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 no let's no, try and move the argument forward don't run let's try and move the argument forward don't run let's try and move the argument forward you're not understanding what i'm saying so that's because you're not explaining it very well no let's try let's try and move the argument forward 
by your own Let's argument. Let's try and move the argument forward. There's so, no going forward if you can't understand this, what I just said. We've got this point in history if you can't understand where Muslims add letters said, to the text then, no, oh my God. to help okay, people okay, to read it. Right? That's what he said. But that's fine. So that's what Muslims say. They add letter to the text, but they don't change the text. Anyone who understands what a textual variant is knows that that is the very definition of a textual variant. And if you don't know what a textual variant is, go and look it up. It's when you have two manuscripts that have the same text on it, but there are differences between the text, differences of letters. So if you have a script where there are no vowel signs, and then you add vowel signs, you have changed the text of your book. Now, the question then is, have you faithfully changed the text of your book? That's the real question. So Muslims then say, ah yes, but you know, Muslims have always recited the Quran and we've always recited the Quran and because we've always recited the Quran, we know what should be in it. That's their argument. But then what we discover is around the 10th century, different Muslim reciters are reciting it differently. Wash, Hafs, Duri, they recite differently. And then their recitations are written in a written form. And those written forms are different. They have different letters and they have different words, which means that Muslims were not reciting the Quran identically. They were differences. And then to reconcile this fact, someone ahistorically says, that Muhammad revealed all of these recitations together. Now, that argument comes later. It comes after Muslims discover that their reciters have recited the Quran differently, which means that they are ahistorically reconciling their present condition in the 10th century to make sense of their doctrine that the Quran is preserved. So in other words, it's Bida, they're inventing their book, their book has been changed and the evidence is against their deen. Now, if the evidence leaves you out of Islam, then have the courage to follow the evidence. Because everything that Muslims claim about their religion at a fundamental level is false. Test the rhetoric against the facts and you'll find that Islam collapses. And then you have to ask yourself what to do next. The Christian faith, by contrast, has stood up to withering criticism of the Enlightenment for 300 years. They've attacked our Bible, they've attacked our beliefs, but our faith in the resurrection has stood firm Yes. and has stood against every attempt to disprove it because the evidence is overwhelmingly in our favour. Overwhelmingly. And those that go and inquire as to the evidence for the resurrection, many of them become Christians. So I would challenge you all, all of you who can hear my voice, to go away and put all of your emotions to one side. Put all of your ego to one side. Put all of this so-called sincerity in Islam, the sincerity of action that you claim to follow, put it into practice. And go and see if, having sincerely, objectively looked at the evidence, the belief in the resurrection stands up to scrutiny and you will find that it does. And when you find that it does, like so many other atheists, agnostics and uh, anti-Christians before you, have the courage then to become a Christian. Mm. And with that thought, I wish you good day. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.